Happy Friday! So it's time for another My Top 10. And this week's Top 10 is all about my top 10 favorite Disney Channel original movies, also known as DCOMs. So when I was younger, I always looked forward to Friday nights at 8 p.m., 7 p.m. Central because it was time for that commercial where the kids are jumping up in the air and the and the little down the Disney Channel slide. And also as the years went on, they changed that intro. But always look forward to a new DCOM every Friday or just watching every night at 8 o'clock a DCOM because they were always so good. And I can't believe that there's about a hundred, there are not about, there are a hundred of them. And it was so hard to pick my top ten. But I did it. I got it all together. And most of these DCOMs have a similar storyline. You, you are learning to accept who you are or you're, you just, it's fun, it's emotionally, it, it gets you involved, makes you think, makes me think as a young kid. But also it had lessons where they're not so abrupt in your face, but you knew in the back of the head what Disney was trying to tell you. So are you ready to find out what that top 10 is? All right, here we go. Number 10 on my list is Twitches and Twitches 2. I'm going to be combining a couple of these movies just to make uh, my top 10 a little easier. So Twitches and Twitches 2 was definitely one of those top 10 movies because I always look forward to watching it every Halloween season or just all the time. About two sisters finding out they're witches and they're twins. They live in a magical land. They have to fight the darkness. And they have to fight the darkness again in number two. And just learn about who each other are, the moon, the sun, magic powers, learning how to do spells. It's just, and Tia and Tamara are definitely one of my favorite twins sets. Um, but, uh, you get it. Uh, but yeah, so definitely twi Twitches and Twitches too. Tia and Tamara. Now, number nine is the reason why I'm a huge fan of Bobby Flay, because he made an appearance in this movie, and I learned who he was, and that's Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off. There was baseball, love baseball, there was cooking. I don't cook, but I love food sometimes. Um, I'm a very picky eater, but uh, yeah, all about trying to show the world that you could be both a baseball player and a cook, even though your father wants you to focus on baseball and friends want you to focus on baseball, but you learn to love cooking and you go through that and just love it and um, great movie, Bobby Flay, good job. <laughs> so number eight is a movie I feel that should be seen by everyone, that should be watched around 9-11 and should be watched in classrooms because it is Tiger Cruise where family members get an opportunity to go on a Navy ship to watch and learn what their family members who are in the Navy have to deal with and face with every day, especially when 9-11 happened, which happened in the middle of the movie. And you learn and see how quick everything changes and just such an important movie. I feel like kids need to see it, adults need to see it. Also learns to respect our navies and service members and family members learning to accept what their family members are doing. Great, important movie. Good job, Disney Channel. Now, number seven is the Lawrence Brothers movies. I love Andy, Joey, and Matt. Um, it's Horse Sense and Jumping Ship to see the sequel to Horse Sense. Great movie, all about realizing that money isn't everything and everyone has a different way of life. You have the city, city boy cousin, and then you have the country boy cousin, and they learn to respect one another after a lot of drama. And then Jumping Ship is basically also, again, the older cousin um, learning to respect someone who 
doesn't live his life. And also how to fight pirates. Very important. Always know what to do when you run into a pirate when you're in shipwrecked. Now number six is one of my top favorites because it's an all about leprechauns. It's called The Luck of the Irish. I love it because the teenager finds out that his family is our leprechauns, but it's also an Irish loving movie. Um, gold coin being taken away by the evil leprechaun, who I still call the evil leprechaun every time I see him in anything else but this movie. But anyway, great movie, important movie. Another one I feel like should be seen in schools and on more often than just around St. Patrick's Day. Especially the ending where they're singing, this land is your land and this land is my land. And it's just an important moment where you learn that every single person has a different background. Where they come from, but all in all, we're all the same. But with a different background. Definitely important. Definitely. Especially nowadays. Now number five is a movie I used to not know how to pronounce. It's Johnny Tsunami. I used to say Johnny Salami. It's all about the new kid um, trying to fit in. But he doesn't fit in with the new school, and he fits in with another group of kids. The snowboarders versus skateboard skiers, snowboarders versus skiers, snowboarders versus skiers, you know. Um, but he chose the snowboarders, which goes against where he's going to school. His father throws a little tantrum because he's too much like his grandfather. The, the kid, not the father. The kid is too much like his grandfather, who's a surfer in Hawaii. I love this movie so much because it has surfing, snowboarding, skiing, everything. So, great movie. Learn to accept who you are and also fight for what you believe in. Now, number four is all about Cadet Kelly. Kelly is, you know, Hillary Duff, um, but she's not, like, she's, she's funny, but she's also clumsy, and her mother married uh, the principal um, of a military school so she has to now go to military school and at first she's so against it because she's so free-spirited and it's just all and all, everything but she won but she learned to respect the military school system as well as is now taking part of the um, drill team and it's just a great story, Hilary Duff, Christy Carlos Romano. And she also learns that she can have two best friends, which you can, and you also can have two fathers, your dad and your stepdad. So, all in all, great movie. Learn to accept who you are, learn to accept changes, and just learn to accept change and everything. Hilary Duff, always, um, you know, I love Hilary Duff. And then number three is three movies actually, Xenon Girl of the Century, Xenon the Sequel, and then Xenon Z3. Now the first two are absolutely my favorite. The third one was good. I think it would have been better if it, we had the original Protozoa, but I mean, but I love the first one because she's fighting to save her space station after causing trouble and moving to Earth with her aunt, and it's just Zoom, 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 and my heart goes boom. I mean, come on. Protozoa, he should have been a real pop person. Because that song was awesome. And then the second movie is all about trying to help the aliens and thinking they needed Protozoa but really did not. And then the third one, again, was saving her space station from Venus. Um, but also, actually, no, getting themselves off of Venus and Earth and... Stay away from the planets and just leave them alone. Now, number two is definitely um, Halloween Town 1, 2, and 3. Halloween Town, Halloween Town 2, Calabar's Revenge or something like that, and Halloween Town High. Yes, there was a fourth one, but Return to Halloween Town, but I mean... It didn't have the original Marnie in it, which no one understood, not even um, the original Marnie. 
which is, I don't understand Disney Channel. Why did you go a different way? Makes no sense. It was still a good movie, but it would have been better. But I love, 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 love Halloween Town 1 and 2 especially because it's another find out that you're a witch and you're trying to help your grandma Aggie fight the bad guys who happens to be your mom's ex-boyfriend, the mayor, and you just learn all about it. You know, Luke, the goblin, it's everything. And Halloween Town 2 is the son's revenge for them taking the father away and but it it's not Halloween until I watch the movies like literally it's not Halloween until Halloween Town High is on I mean Halloween Teen Halloween Teen Halloween Teen Halloween Town High all of that it's just you know Halloween Town High one two three it's just amazing so Halloween Town yes now number one if you know who I am you know what it is it is High School Musical and High School Musical 2. I loved both movies. I think High School Musical 2 is my favorite of the two of them because I love the songs every day, gotta go my own way. It's just all around great movies. Number two still holds the record for, for Disney Channel's most watched movie. And I think it's just definitely a great um, movie. You learn to be who you are. Don't stick to the status quo, even though they say to. If you want to be a jock, be a jock. If you want to be a genius, be a genius. If you want to be both, be both. If you want to don't dance, dance. Do what you want to do. Don't hold yourself to one thing. You can be anything you want to be. And I just love the movies. And it's just definitely, it's crazy to think that the first one came out 13 years ago. It's just crazy. But anyways, High School Musical 1 and 2 definitely makes the top of my list. Um, I'm sure it makes the top of a lot of people's list. But if not, what is your top 10? I mean, so that's my top 10. What is yours? I know we're going to have different ones um, because there are over 100 movies. Again, 100 movies, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, so what? what's your top 10 favorite? DCOMs. Let me know by commenting below and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, everything. So next week's my top 10. Right now it's going to be another Disney Channel based one. It's going to be Disney Channel uh, television shows. So I'm looking forward to do that one. So thank you. Have a great weekend and put on a DCOM. Can't go wrong with DCOMs. Doesn't matter if you're 50 or 20 or 90 or however old you are. Put a decom on. Can't go wrong. So have a great weekend.